Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript Interactive Applications video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to create addition of two numbers application in JavaScript. So let's get started. First, I search for notepad. I select the notepad. You can see that the notepad got open. Here, I am going to write the basic structure of HTML5 document. Here I say less than exclamation mark doc type HTML greater than. By reading this line of code, browser understands this document is a HTML5 document. And we know that our HTML document begins with opening HTML tag, ends with closing HTML tag. In the opening HTML tag, I say lang equal to en, which indicates language of this document is English. We know that HTML document is divided into two sections, head section and body section. To indicate the head section, we write opening head tag and closing head tag. To indicate the body section, we write opening body tag and closing body tag. So that is the head section of the page. That is the body section. In the head section, we say meta char set equal to utf-8 which indicates character set of this document is unicode transformation format 8. I am going to save this file, file save as. I save the file at the desktop with the name default.html. Both sides I put double quotations and save. I minimize. You can see that default.html page is created. Right click on it, say open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default.html, which is same as the file name. We know how to change the title, right? To change the title of the page, we use the title tag. And title tag must be written in the head section. I write here opening title tag, closing title tag. Here I say addition of two numbers app. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the title is changed to addition of two numbers app. Good. Now we create the app. To create the app, first I am going to create one div, opening div, closing div. And here I am going to give an ID as container. Next inside this div, I am going to create a label, L-A-B-E-L, opening label, closing label. And here. I say NUMBER number one colon. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See number one colon is displayed. So to display text, we take help of the label tag. Here I say BR and then I create an input field. I say input type is equal to text. And then I give an ID to this, a unique ID. I say TXT num1. And then I say here, by default, the value will be zero. So if I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see we have a text box where user enters the first number and the default value is zero of this field we have set. Okay. Next, I say here BR. We are going to connect this label with this input field using the for attribute. I say for, I say txt num1. So same thing what we have here, we put here txt num1. That means this label is for the element which has the ID txt num1. Good. Next, I am going to create one more label. I say label label closing label and here I say number number two colon. If I say file save, go to browser and refresh, you see number two colon is displayed. Next, I say br and I copy this line of code and paste down input type equal to text id we give txt num2 value 0 and let me connect both of them using the for attribute I say for txt num2 this label is for the element with the id txt num2 I say file save go to browser and refresh see one more input field is created here user enters number one here user enters number two understanding next i am going to create one more label and one more field guys so 
So I copy this code and paste on. Here I say sum and here I say txt sum. Here also I say txt sum. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got some colon text and one input field. See, here user enters a number 12. Here user can enter a number 2. So I say 11. Here user should not be able to enter any data. So we make this control disabled. So we use the attribute disabled. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see here user can enter the data. Here also user can enter the data. But here user cannot. See, because this control is disabled. We made it disabled. Okay. Next, I am going to create buttons. I use one br here and then I say input type typ type equals to button button and the value of this button I say add I say file save go to browser and refresh see there is an add button created I create one more button I copy this and paste down this button value I say reset file save go to browser and refresh that is reset button so this is the structure of our addition of two numbers app guys if you want to apply some style you can definitely apply the style using CSS so what you do here I say opening style tag closing style tag and then I say type is equal to text or CSS so in between the style tag we write the CSS code to apply some style guys okay now what I do I say here hash c o n t a i n e r container I am applying the style to the element which has the id attribute value set to container so this element this do id attribute value is container what I am doing here I am setting the background color background dash color of l i g h t light gray color semicolon file save go to browser and refresh see light gray color is applied I am going to reduce the width so I say here width of this div should be 20% of the page file save go to browser and refresh see the size is reduced next I am going to add some padding so I say here p a d d i n g padding of 10 pixels file save go to browser and refresh see I have added some nice padding next we are going to implement reset button and add button so when we click on reset these controls should reset back to default values so if I enter here 12 if I enter here 11 if I click on reset these controls should reset back to their default value 0 0 0 so how do we do that we take help of the JavaScript guys and we write the JavaScript code here using the script tag so I see here opening script tag closing script tag and then I say here type is equal to text or javascript so inside the script tag we write the javascript code guys first I want to implement the reset button here I am going to use the attribute on click on click is an event guys here I say reset bracket bracket when we click on the reset button reset function from the JavaScript is executed we are going to create this reset function guys and how do we create function in JavaScript we write the function keyword and then we write the function name bracket bracket opening flower bracket closing flower bracket so remember when we click on click of reset button reset function is called from the JavaScript and what we want we want to set the value of txt num1 txt num2 txt sum to the default value 0 so we are going to get these elements by their id here i say document dot get element by id we are calling get element by id function on the document here we give the id of the element so txt num1 I copy and paste here and what we want we want to set the value to get this value attribute we say dot value equal to we want to set what we want to set the value 0 here you should remember whatever the value 
you assign to the input fields they should be string guys of string type the value should be string type remember okay okay what are we doing we are setting the value of the element which has the id txt num1 this element has the id txt num1 we are setting zero okay i'm going to copy this code paste down two times txt num2 value also should be zero and txt sum its value also should be set to zero file save go to browser and refresh check out now what happens i enter here 12 i enter here 11 if i click on reset button they are reset back to zero so what is happening when i click on the reset button when i click on the reset button reset function is getting called okay and we are setting the value of txt num1 txt num2 and txt sum to zero that is how you use the javascript to implement the functionality of buttons or add behaviors to buttons guys okay next we are going to implement the add button here i say on click we are going to call the add function guys and of course we have to create this add function in the javascript so i say here function add opening flower bracket closing flower bracket what are we going to do in the add function first we get the value of txt num1 whatever user enters now that value we get how do we get the value using this code okay using this code document dot get element by id txt num1 dot value and you can see if i say here alert semicolon i say file save go to browser and refresh if i click on add button it is showing zero i say ok i say here 12 i click on add you can see it is giving 12 right this 12 what we are getting here is actually a string 12 it's not a number 12 guys what i am telling here the value that we are getting here is actually string 12 it's not a number 12 guys i can prove that if i say here type of type of this value definitely you will get string if i say file save go to browser and refresh i enter here 12 and say add see it is showing the type of this value this field value is a string value of course we are not interested to add two strings we are interested to add two numbers so whatever this string 12 is there we want to convert this back into a number 12 so how do we convert we convert with the help of the number function so here we put this thing in the number function guys now definitely the value that you are getting is of course it is a string 12 right it is a string 12 and you are putting that in the number function understanding now what this number function does it converts this string 12 into a number 12 guys so this time if i say type of number document dot get element by id txt num1 dot value definitely it shows number guys I say file save go to browser and refresh if i give here 12 and say add see type of this is now number so that is how you are going to get the value of a field convert that into a number now what are we going to do is we are going to get that number put in the variable called as num1 i am creating a variable called as num1 inside that i am putting that value guys i hope it's clear to you what are we doing we are getting the value of txt num1 converting that into a number putting that into a num1 variable the same thing we can do for num2 so simply i paste here change the variable name to num2 here we say txt num2 so now we are getting the value of the field which has the id txt num2 so this input field has the id txt num2 we are getting its value whatever the user enters and we are converting that into a number by putting that in the number function and that number we are storing in num2 understanding now next i am going to create one more variable called as sum what should be sum sum should be num1 plus num2 guys okay now we can display that sum if i say here alert and display the value of sum i say file save 
go to browser and refresh here i enter 12 here i enter 11 if i click on add you see it is showing 23 we are getting the sum of these two fields you can see that so what is happening when i click on add when i click on add it is executing this add function it is getting the value of txt num1 that is 12 converting that into a number putting in the num1 so num1 is 12 next this line is executing it is getting the value of txt num2 that is 11 converting that into a number putting them into a num2 so num2 is 11 12 plus 11 is 23 stored in the sum and we are displaying that here 23 understanding if i say file save go back and refresh if i enter here 12 and 12 i click on add it shows 24 and this 24 is a number guys it's not a string 24 it's a number 24 i can prove that if i go here and say type of sum definitely you will see number displayed this time i say file save go to browser and refresh i say here 12 and 12 i say add see it is telling the sum type is number but i told you that the value that you set should be a string if you want to set a value to a field it should be a string so what we have to do is we have to convert this sum into a string type it is a number now we have to convert it to a string so what we do we put that inside the string function guys we put that inside the string function now this is a string sum guys understand string 24 we get okay good this string sum what we are getting we want to set it to a txt sum so I copy this and paste here the value of txt sum should be the sum guys so if I save this file, save, go to browser and refresh, instead of displaying the alert box, we are displaying here guys. I say 12 and say 12. If I click on add, we get here 24. If I say here 10 and here I say 20, I click on add, it becomes 30. If I click on reset, they are reset back to 0. If I say here 2 plus 2 add, it is 4. Click on reset, it resets. So that is how you create addition of two numbers application in JavaScript step by step. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try this yourself step by step. If you try it yourself, you get more idea guys. And try to create some other application like a subtraction of two numbers or multiplication of two numbers, etc, etc with this knowledge. If you have any doubts, Please put those doubts in the comment section. I clear as early as possible. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more JavaScript interactive applications. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.